Hello, I'm Gavin M1BXF. This is a very quick overview of the HAM5 rotator controller I've built, uh, which replaces the analog meter here with a LCD meter. Uh, and at the heart of it is a Pickaxe 20X2, which uses a 5 volt source up on the head unit to uh, head work out the heading. Uh, and the Pickaxe fires a couple of relays to change the direction of the motor. Uh, which were originally done with these switches. These switches are now connected to the pickaxe directly. So we switch it on, gives a little bit of revision control etc on the LCD and comes up with the current heading. Very simple usage. Left and right. Gives the normal left and right. This middle button used to be park, um, sorry brake release, it's now park. Uh, so if I hit that it will go to the park heading which is currently set for zero degrees. And we can change that with a few of these buttons as we go. You just see these LEDs light up to let you know what's going on. The reason for that is it's also got a PC interface. So if the PC's controlling the track and it's useful to know uh, which direction it's been asked to go, whether it's uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. So the other useful feature is a preset. So again, this is quite useful if you just want to point a heading and then go back to your radio or your computer screen. You can just turn this to the heading you want and then just look away. And then when it gets to the heading you want, it will stop. So, you can change the park heading. So again, if I press and hold the park button when I power up, it will give me an option to set the park heading. And again, I can turn this to the heading I wish. So if we say around about 100 degrees, it then says press the CW button, counterclockwise. Oh, sorry, clockwise button. So press that. The park direction is saved. And if I hit the park button now, it will then take me to 100 degrees. Hitting any of these buttons will cancel any action which is ongoing. And as I say, there's a PC interface on the back as well. And more information at www.geekshed.co.uk. Thanks for listening.